I want to talk about vector addition. And to do this, I'm going to start with a story. Slappy the dog starts at his home A and runs to pick up his girlfriend at her house B, nine blocks east and six blocks north of his home. Draw vector AB representing his displacement. Let's do that. Now he's gone nine blocks east and six blocks north. So I'll make that nine and that six. And then his vector, his displacement vector, will be this. And to complete the picture, I should probably note that this is point A, his home, and this is point B, his girlfriend's house. All right, moving on. Then the two of them run four blocks south and seven blocks east to Cartoonies, point C, where they share a plate of spaghetti with meatballs. Draw a vector BC representing their displacement. So they've gone four blocks south and seven blocks east. Let's say that, wrong pen, four blocks south is to here. And seven blocks east, something like that. So the vector that I'd want to draw is this. And this is point C. This is vector BC, their displacement from her house to Cartoonies. Finally, the resultant or sum of these two vectors, AB plus BC, is the vector AC. And this represents Slappy's displacement from his house. He's 16 blocks east and two blocks north. Let's take a look. If you think about where his location is at point C, with respect to his original location at point A, he is 16 blocks east, east and two blocks north. And that vector would be vector AC. So we define this vector to be the sum of the two vectors AB and BC. So this is vector AC. And AC is AB plus BC. Now this suggests how we're going to think about vector addition. We're going to think about vector addition first as taking two vectors and placing them head to tail like this and drawing what we call the resultant from the, the initial point of the first vector to the head of the second vector. So let's see that in an example. Here I have two vectors u and v. If I want to add them, I have to put them head to tail. So say I want u plus v. I can take this vector and slide it over so that its head is right at the tail of vector v. You can always slide vectors around because a ve two vectors are equal as long as they have the same length and direction. So let me draw a vector with the same length and direction as u. And that would be this. Right? As long as it has the same length and the same direction, it's the same vector. And so the sum of these two vectors would be the vector that you draw from the tail of the first to the head of the second. That's vector u plus v. So one method for adding vectors is the head to tail method. You put the vectors head to tail and you draw the resultant from the tail of the first to the head of the second. The second method is the parallelogram method. And here's how that works. We start by taking the vectors and putting them tail to tail. So let me duplicate this vector down here. It would look like this. OK. There we go. So that's vector u. Now, imagine that these are two sides of a parallelogram and you want to complete the parallelogram. The way you do this is you duplicate this vector down here and duplicate this vector over here. So that looks like this. Now this vector goes down one over one, two, three, four. I'm counting each of the, I'm counting two squares as one unit here. So down one over one, two, three, four.
and the other vector looks like this. And so if you draw a vector starting at the tail of the, of the two vectors and ending at this point, you'll also get the sum. This is the parallelogram method. And even though it's a little, a little more time consuming, it's very useful in certain applications. But this also is u plus v. So we have two ways of coming up with the sum of two vectors. First, the head to tail method. Put the vectors head to tail. And it turns out that vector addition is commutative, so the order you do this does not matter. And then once you get them head to tail, draw the resultant, or sum, as the vector that goes from the tail of the first to the head of the second. Or put them tail to tail, complete a parallelogram, and draw the vector that goes from the tails, the common tail, to the opposite point of the parallelogram. These are the two methods for adding vectors geometrically.